Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called VHS Slaughter, and of course, if you want to try this for yourselves, the links in the details as always are down below in the description for you. In this game, I'm a university student working at this place to try and make some extra money. It's going to be a boring job, until one night it becomes a nightmare. And I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Really helps me out, alright? Here we go, this is VHS Slaughter. And here we are, in control. Oh snap, I'm going to be late for work. Am I? Oh dear. If only rent was cheaper in Firemore, I wouldn't have to work night shifts every day. That's how it is, is it? Okay. Uh, do I have to get changed into my work clothes? Let's see. Am I... Okay. I might be going out in the nude or in my pyjamas. Let's see. The game didn't stop me, so I guess I'm wearing something. <laughs> Maybe I slept in my work clothes. Who knows? Let's not dilly-dally. Let's get to work. And how exactly do I do that, I wonder? <laughs> Let's go this way. Maybe it's within walking distance. Maybe it's just around the corner here. Or maybe it's not. Excuse me. Can you give me a lift? <laughs> uh, is this the right way? No, I should get to the bus station. I don't want to be late. Right, I'm taking the bus and... Well, that isn't the bus, is it? Okay. Where's the bus station? I think I see the shelter over there. Right, yeah, this is it. Okay, so we're taking the bus to work. Yeah, this is it. You don't want to sit down? You might be here a while. No schedule, no timetable. Just an intro. Oh, wow. Right on time. This is not realistic, is it? <laughs> Let's see. Alright, take me to work. And to get jump scared, apparently. Wait. What? <laughs> There's not even any bus here. Unless it's invisible. All right, here we are though, we made it to work. We've made it to the VHS store in VHS Slaughter, which I think is very heavily inspired by Puppet Combo. Let's see then. All right, let's get used to the place because this is where I'm going to die. Looks like there's a new horror section over here. What, like all these shelves here? Maybe the entire thing is the horror section, who knows? That'll be my kind of VHS store. I like the posters. <laughs> Through here? Locked. Okay. Anyone back there? Uh, I can't steal the money. Oh, hang on. Ah, here we are. Alright. What we got here? Staff toilet? Good stuff. Can I hide in it? Yes, I can. Even better. Who knows? I might need to. Oh, hang on. What's this? Hey, man. Sorry for today. I had to leave a bit early, you know? I've got a date with that hot chick I told you about. Anyway, don't forget to take out the trash. I'll tell you how it went tomorrow night. Okay. Good luck, I guess. Leaving me here alone to die. Okay. Well, here's the trash, right? Okay. Locked. Hmm. I guess that means we're going to have to take it out the front. Alright. Out this way? Cool. Alright, so there's a couple of cars here. Who do they belong to? That's what I'm wondering. Ah, over here. No? No, that's not where I put the trash, it seems. Let's just get a lay of the land. Let's walk around the perimeter here. Oh, there's a ladder onto the roof. Wait, this dumpster here? No? I can't add it to the pile. There's, <laughs> there's got to be somewhere I can put this. Is that the locked door? Right, that's the locked door. Okay. This one over here? No? Yes. Finally. Right, okay. I Where the hell did you come from? Did you spawn in the middle of the road? Because it looked like it. <laughs> well, there you go. There's my second jump scare of the game. Right. Alright, back inside. Okay, back behind the counter, and I guess let's just await our first customer. Yeah, no idea where the owners of the cars are. Somewhere around here, I guess. Cut. Oh, 
Alright. Sounds like someone just came in. Hey there. Right. Uh, it's Hannah that says, Hello, my dear. I'd like to return these tapes my husband got last week. Such great, lovely stories. We both like watching romantic movies when we're alone in the house. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of nervous coming here alone at night. An old lady like me shouldn't be out late at night anyway. Oh lord, what am I saying? All those cases with missing people lately scare me. And to think that Firemore was a very peaceful town back in my days. Anyway, I'll go now. Sorry for bothering you with all my rumbling. No worries, Hannah. Have a good night. Oh, right. Okay. Let's see then. Right. So, I guess I need to, uh, I guess I need to put these back somewhere. The romantic films? Somewhere around here. Not horror, right? Uh, here? Okay, there we go. There we go. Right. So far, so good. I haven't been murdered. <laughs> So it's right click to zoom in, um, it doesn't seem like we can lean, or crouch, jump. We can run though, it seems. Alright, I might need to, I might need to. Hmm, I sure do love green screens myself, but what's the point? Oh, hello. Hey, wow, you're tall. <laughs> Hi there! Uh, hey man! Look. I wanted to watch a movie tonight with my girl, but on the way here, I realized I don't have any money on me. Can you give me a tape and I'll pay you back once I have the money? What? What do you mean, no? Come on, man. Pfft, your tapes are crap anyway. Look, you're working at night all alone here. I don't think you'd like to piss off the wrong person. Remember that. All right, Rob. Okay. Did he turn the music off? Right. Can we ban him? Yeah. Yeah, let's ban him. Really? My shift's finished. Time to go home. Okay. Well, <laughs> to deal with two customers? That was it? I was here for like five minutes. All right. Okay. The owners of the cars didn't come back. Everyone just kind of walked in, but from where? The forest? Strange. Right, well, I suppose I'm going to get the bus back, right? Seems like it. Alright! Oh, come on now! What's this? What am I... <laughs> I'm going to be late again? Mm, maybe. Right, let's get a move on. Yeah, let's go outside. Alright. Right, so this way. Come on. I know I can run, so let's run. No van this time, but the bus shelter is exactly where it should be. Okay. Right, let's see. Is it on the way? It It is. The moment I get here, it arrives. I mean, that is the bus service that you want, but that's the bus service that not many of us get, let's be honest. Alright, perfect. <laughs> I wish you'd stop doing that, though. Bloody hell. Right, okay. No cars this time. So, am I going to see my colleague? Is he going to tell me about this hot date? Let's see. Alright, is this still locked? It is, okay. Uh, looks like there might be another note. Hey Greg, it's Matt. Sorry for leaving early again. Something urgent came up. Anyway, the date went really well. I really think Mary likes me. Oh, also, I finally fixed the surveillance camera. You can see it at the top right of the counter. And, and please, don't forget to take out the trash. Right. That's the only reason I'm here, isn't it, really? To take out the trash. Ah, there you go. That's a little bit better than a green screen. What's that showing? That's Is that the ladder out the back? Yeah, that's around the back. Okay. Let's see. Is this door locked? Good. Good. Okay, let's deal with the trash again. Okay. Well, my first shift went remarkably well, so maybe this is going to be the nightmare shift. I guess we'll see. 
No car speeding off this time. Hmm. Alright. Tell you what I'm going to do, actually. Again, I'm going to walk around the perimeter. I'm going to make sure that everything's okay. I know I've got the surveillance camera, but, you know, it's... <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a game with quite muddy visuals, quite blurry. Can't really see what's going on. Can we... No, we can't climb onto the roof. And uh, we can't unlock the door from that side, which is probably a good thing. But, yeah, everything seems fine. All right. Maybe I should grab one of these and, and watch them on the TV in the back. Yeah, in fact, there were a load of tapes back here, right? I guess these are all the returns. And then there's these ones. Still can't use the PC? What about the coffee? Can't drink the coffee? Ah. Maybe I can take a nap? No. Can't do much of anything, really, apart from wait for customers. Uh, where the hell did you come from? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Are you a serial killer? Hmm. Daniel says, Hello! I came to return these horror tapes I got last week. Really good stories, by the way. Thanks for recommending them to me. You know, I can't say no to a good slasher story. Sometimes, I wonder what it would be like to go out and start chopping heads off, and then hang them at the top of my fireplace. Nah, I'm kidding. Are you? I'd store them in a secret room behind my closet. Ha <laughs> ha! Kidding again. Daniel, you're banned too. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. You better. Yeah, you better. Okay, so these these are horror tapes, are they? So these are gonna be over here somewhere. Alright. No? Uh, no, I guess not. Okay. Okay, well, maybe these ones... Oh. Okay, hang on. What's going on? Is it malfunctioning? What's that? It's a tape. Okay, I've got four tapes now. That's a bit weird. Maybe he dropped one on the way out. Right, I've, I've got to, I've got to put these back. But isn't this the romance section? <laughs> Maybe he considers romance horror. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe this doesn't belong here. Well, yeah, maybe I can put it on the shelf back here. No? Okay. Ah, I can watch it? I can watch it. He was walking back home alone. You would think he had some security with him. With how much money he embezzled, you'd also think he had a nicer house. Alright. Is that a photo of someone's front door? I wonder what he spent all of that money on, if not security, or a nicer home. I guess I'll never find out what our mayor wasted our money on. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Was that the mayor getting bludgeoned? Okay. And that's the end of the tape? I guess that's the end of the tape, right. Huh. Probably shouldn't have watched that. Probably should have put it on this shelf. Who left this? I think I should go now. I I, I don't feel safe anymore. No, I don't. Right, okay. I, I think I'm okay. I think I'm alone. Hmm. Yeah, that guy wasn't kidding around, was he? He really does want to be a serial killer. Sounds like he started off with the mayor. All right. Okay. Let's wait for the bus. Okay. Good stuff. What was that tape? Was it real? No, it can't be. It was probably a prank by a kid. Yeah, I don't know about that. Right. Are we off to work again? I think so.
Uh, it's raining this time. Probably should have grabbed my raincoat. But I'm not really in the mood to grab clothes before I go to work, am I? <laughs> All right. Let's hurry over to the shelter. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, was that real or was that a prank? Considering that uh, this is a horror game, it's probably real. Maybe I can ask the bus driver. Well, maybe the bus driver killed the mayor, I don't know. <laughs> it's a small town. Alright. <laughs> I'm getting used to that now. Here we are again then. The third shift. That's the van that I saw at the beginning, isn't it? The engine's still running. Right. Okay. Again, like before, I'm going to walk around the place. I'm going to see what's what. I just hope that no one jumps out and tries to kill me, honestly. Wait. Okay, I found another tape. It's been sitting here in the rain. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Is this another tape that I need to watch? Maybe this is another tape that I need to watch. Right, let's see. Anyone back here? No, of course not. <laughs> no note this time either. No excuse. Right, let's see. That pig was buying groceries with the same bribe money he got today. For someone who's supposed to keep the community safe, he doesn't mind looking the other way when there's money. Huh. It's quite analogue horror, this, isn't it? That's what all cops are like. A bunch of pigs. So I gutted him like one. Wow. I think I'm going to add this to the horror section. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's ever expanding. Right. I oh did you come from the van or behind the van? Right, either way, I want to be behind the counter when you come in. I don't trust anyone right now. Hey there. Everyone's taller than me as well. Harry says, Hey, uh, I'd, I'd like to buy these two tapes. The, the, the Blade Walker and the Whining. Yes, nice names. Uh, hey, did, did you see the guy across the street? Why is he looking directly at the store? He, he really freaked me out. Is he a junkie or something? Anyway, th thanks for the tapes. If I, I were you, I'd leave right now. Maybe call the police. You should close the store and leave. Right. Nice. That might not be a bad idea. And, uh, yeah, I didn't see that guy across the street, but I guess he's out there in the tree line somewhere. Right, okay. Can I? Can I call the police? Is there a phone around here? Yeah, I think he's right. I, sh I should go now, but right. Can we can we call the police first, though? Do we have a phone back here? We don't have a phone back here. There's no phone. Brilliant. Right. Okay. Still got this tape as well. What am I going to do with this tape? Just take it back? Where's this guy? Where's this junkie? I don't see him. I don't see him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait for the bus. Oh fucking hell, the bus is Oh, okay, the bus is late again, but still, I get home. Right. Is there a radio here before? Okay, can we tune it? Turn it off? <laughs> Alright. Here we go again then. Or not. Alright. Uh am I going to bed? No. Maybe I need to use the toilet. Use the bath. Jump in the washing machine. No? I <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I'm not getting anything on the TV. Hmm. 
Can't even escape via the window. Oh, hang on. Maybe we're actually getting changed for, for once. Was that? Oh, it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Hang on, hang on. Come on. Keep it together. Oh my god, turn that off. If I was listening to that while I was sleeping, I'd have a nightmare as well. Okay, right. We're going outside. Alright. Good stuff. Right, so let's keep an eye out for the van, I guess. Hang on. Rotting apples with wasps feasting. Brown bananas with flies retreating. A fox in the night is ripping black bin bags open. Cats are eating a chicken casket after Sunday dinner. A white owl is gobbling, a slaughtered mouse, happy, sitting on the evening fence. The brown rat is running for the bushes after stealing bread. A giant cow jawbone is found in the dirty ground. The tired young man died on the motorway bridge and was found. Zombified humans are eating out of plastic bins. Death is everywhere. Take a look inside. Don't be ignorant about what you find. Right. I think I'm just going to go back inside. <laughs> work! Yeah, I think work can be missed today. I'm going to call in sick. Oh, come on. I, I, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. It's not letting me. <laughs> huh. Right. Well, this is getting weirder and weirder, isn't it? Let's see. Is there a van around the corner? No. But then maybe it's parked just outside work. I guess we'll see. Strange. Very strange. Of course, what's the point in calling in sick? No one's ever there, right? Plus, there's no phone. Hmm. I do wonder if this guy is following me on the bus. Let's see. Alright. A honk, and the bus leaves. Two cars outside again. Right, I'm not going to look around the outside this time. I'm just going to go straight in, go behind the counter, and hide. Maybe just hide in the toilet. Yeah. Okay. Again, no note. That was quick. Uh, okay. Everyone walks a little bit slanted towards me, like they're the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Oh, it's Hannah again. Oh my dear, something terrible happened. I didn't know where else to go. I had to come here to speak with someone about it. It's James, my husband. I can't find him anywhere. He went for his usual walk, but he didn't return. He's always back at seven. He's never late. What should I do? Could this serial killer person abduct him? It's all over the news. They believe someone's responsible for all these missing people. Oh lord. I tried to call the police, but they didn't bother. They have more important cases to investigate. Oh lord. I have to get back. Mm, sorry, Hannah. I'd help if I could. Everyone's arms are really long as well. Everyone's like a gibbon here. <laughs> Yeah, I'd help if I could if I had a phone to call myself. Hmm. Right. No one out the back? No tapes on the floor this time? Doesn't seem like it. Right. Let's go check the back door. Is it still locked? Good. Oh. Alright. Someone else came in? Hey there. Who are you? Derek, hello. I'd like to return these. Man, I hope the weather gets better. Anyway, thanks. Bye. Right. Ah, right. More tapes. Alright, so... Are these romances as well? Do they go in this section? No? Let's see, where do these go? Somewhere around here. Oh, hang on. I saw the prompts. I did see the prompts. I, oh, God. Oh, who are you? Looking very... Oh, why is he coming after me? He's looking very Freddy Krueger-esque. Sorry. We're closed for tonight. Can I put the tapes back, please? There we go. Right. <laughs> I'm going back here before he kills me. Right. Okay. Okay. 
and away he goes. Hopefully he didn't steal any tapes. Good on him. Wait. Is that the car alarm? Uh, hang on, hang on. That's another tape, isn't it? He's the one that's been dropping the tapes off? Okay, alright, I'm going back inside and uh, against my better judgement, I think I'm going to have a little watch. I wonder who he's killed this time. He did his transactions in that cabin. He ruined so many lives. He wanted to ruin another life today. He wanted to sell them a couple of grams. Alright. Looks like an area from Blair Witch, to be honest. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a fan of this stuff. But I didn't want him to feel empty-handed. Oh. I decided to leave him a small surprise in that little cabin of his. And what sort of surprise was that? Whoa! That does not sound like a little surprise. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> right, is it is it time to go home yet? I sure hope it is. Oh boy. Right. What about this? Still locked? Still locked. I'm curious about that. I know where that door goes, but where does this go? Right. I know it didn't tell me that I should go home, but yeah, I'm just taking the initiative, to be honest. Alright. Here we are. Okay. Here we are, right. Is that radio still playing up? I can't do anything about it. Right. Are we going out in our pyjamas again? Yes, we are. Right. Any strange notes on the floor this time? Not that I see. Just the one car this time. Right. Oh, there's a note! I wasn't expecting a note, to be honest. Hey Greg, it's me, your co-worker. I decided to leave Firemore. I guess you won't ever see or talk to me again. Oh well. I never liked this godforsaken town anyway. Crime being on the rise and cops not doing anything about it. People who look dead both on the inside and on the outside. This town deserves people like these. Oh, cheers! Fuck you too! <laughs> He's probably right, though. Okay, locked. Locked. Good. Right, that's been here for days. Am I finally gonna drink it? Drink it or throw it out, please! Oh, God. Who is it this time? Uh, who are you? Have we met? It's Don that says, hey! Oh no, I'm not here to buy tapes. I saw a nosy guy outside. He told me to come here and tell you he's he's giving you an invitation. I don't know anything more. He just gave me five bucks to come here and tell you that. He said, you should be very careful with your choice. Should I? An invitation, right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to stay right here. Anyone out the back? I don't think so. It's hard to tell, but I don't think so. Okay. And, oh, fucking hell. Alright. Alright. The power went off. I have to go out and check the breaker box. The breaker box. Where's the breaker box? I don't think it's in here. It's got to be somewhere outside, hasn't it? Fuck's sake. Alright, let's go around the perimeter. Let's see. One of these? No. Uh, ah, here we are. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm feeling very vulnerable here, but I think I fixed the power. Let's see. Yep, seems like it. Oh, not again. Shit. All right. I can't put these tapes down. I can't stop watching them. I definitely should, but I can't. What the hell? 
I can hear them calling me from hell. He's been in here. Fucking hell. He's not in the toilet, is he? That's my area. Okay, thankfully it's safe and sound. Right, what's on this tape? He did his transactions in that cabin. He ruined so many lives. Is this the one that we saw before? This is the one that we saw before, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, just like last time. Ends the same way. Strange. Very strange. Wait, what's this? They will find you in pieces. Wonderful! Wonderful. Alright, yeah. I uh, I think I'm gonna quit, just like this guy. Still locked? Still locked. Good. Good. Okay. Why am I hanging around, honestly? Why, why haven't I gone home yet? <laughs> right. Okay. No one around here? No. I'm getting ready to run all the time, you know? I'm just getting ready to run. Let's hope the bus isn't late this time. No? Okay, alright, we're back home. And the radio is fixed. Can't say the same about the TV, unfortunately. Right. Um... Are we going back? Oh god, we're going back. Why? Why? <sighs> okay. This isn't going to end well, is it? <sighs> He's going to come in with a knife. One of his little surprises, you know? He's going to finish me off next. What if it was Hannah? Yeah, what if it was that kind, sweet old lady? That would subvert my expectations. Okay. Wait. Wait a minute. Is that that van again? That blue van? It is, isn't it? Fucking hell, right. What's going on? Any tapes down here? Not yet. Right, let's see. He's not back there. Alright, let's hope he's not back there either. Huh, someone scrubbed the message off. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey there. What's going on here? Uh, Jenna. Hey, Greg. Have you seen Matt? I can't find him anywhere. I haven't heard from him for a week. I really hope he's okay. Come find me after your shift to look at his house. We'll meet at your place. Yeah, I'd rather not, to be honest. That feels like a trap. I don't, I don't trust anyone right now. Not Jenna, not Derek, and, and certainly not Hannah. I think she might be the devil in disguise, quite honestly. That guy who was wearing Freddy Krueger's colours, I think he might just be a red herring. Got a newspaper here. Crow cult strikes again? I think that's what it says. Was she part of the crow cult, do you think? Hmm, right. Let's check the toilet. Alright. Who is it this time? Okay. Hi there, sir. I think I've seen you before, haven't I? Derek. Excuse me. Don't you think it's kind of late to do repairs on the roof? Ooh. I just saw your co-worker on the roof, fixing something. It's not safe. Go right now and tell this man to come down. Right. Okay. Will do, Derek. Will do. You mind sticking around, Derek? I don't see anyone. Maybe Derek was setting a trap for me. Right. There is a ladder around the back, isn't there? Maybe I can go up there myself. I'm quite tentative, quite nervous about doing this. Oh, I, I can now. I can go up. Okay. What the hell? Wait, someone... Someone's been sleeping here. Oh, fuck. Okay, right, there's another tape, too. He's been right above me this entire time. 
What the fuck? Right, okay, we're, we're gonna go back down, we're gonna go back down, and we're gonna have a look at this tape. See what other little surprises he's got in store, I suppose. I really should be calling the police, though, don't you think? I think I've seen enough. Right. Wait, the door's open. Oh, sh- Oh, fuck. There's a- There's a body bag in here, I think. Is that a bot? Yeah, it's a body. It's a body. Why has this place not got a fucking phone? Right. I don't know where that guy is, but he's close. He's very close. Let's just watch his tape and fuck off, shall we? I want to get out of here. You've been quite the fan of my work. Well, I wouldn't call myself a fan, but... You seem to enjoy my work. I extend this invitation to you. Join me. Let's clean our city from these scum. Call me. Triple X, triple X, quadruple X. Okay, right. I don't have a phone, so I can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you don't take offense. I hope you don't add me to your, uh, your collection of body bags. Right. I'm gonna see if I can get back to the bus station alive. Just because I want to find a payphone and call the guy, right? Okay. Okay. Right. I made it back safe and sound. This can't keep happening. I need to end this now. You do. You do. You definitely do. Oh, a phone! Finally! Oh, here we go. Ah, so I, <laughs> I can call him. Or I can call the police. I'm going to try and call the police, but I don't think it's going to end well, honestly. You were the worst kind of man. 911, what is your emergency? Too afraid to make a difference. Too afraid to take initiative. Is he... Is he choking me? I think so, before he snapped my neck. And with that, with my neck getting snapped, that appears to be the end of the game. So thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. I tried to do the right thing, but maybe I'd have been better off calling that number. But then, what would have happened? Would I accept his invitation? Would I join him? Would I kill the scum with him? Maybe I wouldn't have my neck snapped. But that was VHS Slaughter, and it ends with me getting VHS Slaughtered. Thanks for watching, yeah. I quite enjoyed this one. Yeah, it was a pretty solid game. I think it did quite a bit right, even though it was lacking in a few areas. But yeah, atmosphere was good. I was feeling quite tense, nervous, and anxious at times, especially going around outside looking for tapes and wondering if I was going to get attacked out there. Uh, I do think the ending, or this ending at least, was lacking a certain punch. You know, I'm going to compare this to a very similar game called Night Shift by Puppet Combo, and that had a much more hectic, chaotic, visceral ending, and that's because it wasn't a cutscene, it was actually happening to you. And yeah, it's a bit of a shame this game didn't end in a similar fashion, especially if I was going to get killed and get my neck snapped anyway. But yeah, thanks for watching, see you next time. Okay, I might be going out in the nude or in my pyjamas, let's see. The game didn't stop me, so I guess I'm wearing something. <laughs> oh wow! Right on time! This is not realistic, is it? <laughs> let's see. Alright, take me to work. And to get jump scared, apparently. So far, so good. I haven't been murdered. <laughs> really? My shift's finished! Time to go home! Okay, well... <laughs> to deal with two customers, that was it? I was here for like five minutes! I wonder what it would be like to go out and start chopping heads off, and then hang them at the top of my fireplace. Nah, I'm kidding. Are you? Oh my god, turn that off! If I was listening to that while I was sleeping, I'd have a nightmare as well. Right. I think I'm just gonna go back inside. <laughs> work! Yeah, I think work can be missed today. I'm gonna call in sick. Everyone's arms are really long as well. Everyone's like a gibbon here. <laughs> oh god. Oh, who are you? Looking very- Oh, why is he coming after me? He's looking very Freddy Krueger-esque. 
I decided to leave him a small surprise in that little cabin of his. And what sort of surprise was that? Whoa! Okay. And, oh, fucking hell. They will find you in pieces. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, yeah. I, uh, I think I'm going to quit, just like this guy. Are we going back? Oh, God, we're going back. Why? Why? Don't you think it's kind of late to do repairs on the roof? Ooh. Wait, the door's open. Oh, sh- Ooh, fuck. Call me. Triple X, triple X, quadruple X. Okay, right. I don't have a phone, so I can't do that. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you don't take offense.